you will know more than any of us that the present and future battle for the world's mind is not now between communism and capitalism but between Islam and Christianity. I have recently spent some time, not as much as I would have liked, in Turkey. I think you have been there also. In general, I was very impressed by the standards of behavior in Turkey. Whether this is attributable to the people being in the main adherents of Islam or mainly to them being Turkish, I do not know. Could be both, I suppose. However, I want to tell you about one particular episode which I experienced whilst in Turkey. As I have intimated already, during my travels around Turkey along the south coast, then up through Ankara and Bursa and back to Istanbul, I experienced kindness friendliness and general civilized behavior. But in particular, and here we approach the core of what I want to tell you, I felt quite welcomed and comfortable when visiting mosques. And even more to my point, I found that there was no problem with taking pictures in mosques. Indeed, Whilst in one mosque, I was preparing to leave when a young chap there told me that if I stayed a few minutes longer, then I could take pictures of the Imam leading prayers. Near the end of my stay and back in Istanbul, I came across a church. Even though it was a Roman Catholic church, and I am not a Roman Catholic, I quite naturally, I think, felt nearer to my home and upbringing as I entered the church. However, I had, I can see now, been lulled into a state of false security. For when I started using my camera, a chap came over to me and said, No filming! Even though I have experienced this previously in Christian churches, I was here, shall we say, taken aback, because obviously of that state I had been lulled into by my time in Turkey. Yes, I took more pictures. This chap then swept back to face me and said that if I took any more, he would smash my camera. This experience set as it was in the particular contrasting circumstances described served, for me anyway, as one concrete illustration of how you are losing that above-mentioned contest for the allegiance of the population of the world. Whatever may be the fundamental reasons for one religion or the other, and I don't intend getting into those, it seems to me that your side is losing just by failing at the ordinary down-to-earth interface at which ordinary people come into contact with religion. I had just about finished this film when I heard in the media that some adherents of Islam in Afghanistan had become upset because someone in America had burned a copy of the Quran. I can quite easily understand why this should upset those people, but I'm sorry I can't get my head around what they did. You probably know 
what they did. But just for the record, they went out and killed some people. Did they kill these people because they thought these people were Christians? Did they kill these people because they thought these people were Americans, like the man who burned the Koran? Did they kill these people because they thought these people were non-Afghanistan and non-Islamic? I'm sorry, but as much as I can sympathize with their being offended by the act of burning the Koran, I can't think of any reason that justifies killing people like they did. Defenseless, unarmed people chosen at random, people who were there to assist Afghanistan. No, I just can't fit this into my understanding at all.